Hey everybody, welcome to KM Reviews. I am Nittleman. This time I'm bringing you the review for Inferno, which is the third in the trilogy that follows the Da Vinci Code, which I actually really liked, and Angels and Demons, which I really hated. And this one kind of falls somewhere in between. So the storyline of this one, again, involves Tom Hanks playing Robert Langdon, who uses a bunch of artifacts and museums to solve a mystery. This time the mystery revolves around finding a plague that was created by Ben Foster's character, who's kind of this eccentric billionaire who figured out that the world's population is growing at such an exponential rate that he needs to cut the world's population in half. So he creates this plague, feeling that's really for the benefit of humanity. That's his logic anyways. So I'll start off with the pros of this one, the biggest one being Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks is a pro in pretty much every movie I see him in. I just love him as an actor. I really believe him as this character. He comes across as this really intelligent guy really easily. I also really liked Felicity Jones. I actually really liked her in this movie. Um, it gives me hope for the new Star Wars movie that's going to be coming out. Another thing I really liked is at the beginning of this movie, you get a lot of these visions that Robert Langdon is having, and I actually thought those were really intense and kind of cool. The CGI was kind of questionable, but I still found the visuals to be really neat. To be honest though, that's really about it for the pros. As far as the cons go, I would say the storyline in general just seems really generic. The whole movie overall just seems really generic. It just seems like one of those straight to red box DVD storylines. Probably these writers it just feels like they grabbed a random crappy story from a pile somewhere and threw it on the screen and threw Tom Hanks in there to hopefully make some money. I know this is based on a book. I never read the book so I can't compare it to the book but I can tell you the movie version really is not that compelling. They try to throw some twists in there. It seems like just for the sake of having a twist because if you have a twist then it might engage you more and make you like the movie but to me I was able to guess the twist right away because it kind of follows the trends of the last couple movies and how those twists worked out. So it was kind of easy to pick out and it didn't really surprise me that much. And to be honest, I'm kind of disappointed with Ron Howard. It's not that he's a bad director, it's that he's churning out movies that are not up to the potential of the kind of movies he could be doing. He used to be one of those directors that was getting up to that level of like a Steven Spielberg or a Martin Scorsese where it was like if a Ron Howard movie was coming out, it was probably some sort of Oscar worthy contender big thing. But lately, with like In the Heart of the Sea and this one, it's just kind of like he's doing standard movies any director could do. And I'm not sure if that's his choice or if it's just like that's the only work he can get or what the deal is. But he has so much more potential to do better movies. So come on, Ron Howard, pick some better movies, man. At the end of the day, guys, I'm going to have to give this movie a one night stand. <laughs> it's not terrible, but it's very forgettable. So guys, what's one of your favorite Ron Howard movies? He's done a bunch of good ones, but I think one of my favorites is Rush. It was really underappreciated, but let me know what you think and comment below. Also, if you want to get updated reviews every single week, make sure you subscribe if you can handle it. Go.